this is Almost Gaming 99, and welcome to episode 10 of Pokemon Scarlet. Last time we left off, well, I kind of, I, hmm, it's been a bit actually. And I've kind of forgotten, if I'm going to be honest with you. We didn't do fright on the Fight in the Frozen Peaks, I think. I'm very tempted to look this up, but... Hold on, I'll just pop open my map. No, we did Duel in the Diner last episode against Larry. And today we're gonna be we're gonna be having a power struggle on the plateau with this psychic type gym leader. I find it kind of weird that there's some Egyptian theme going on here in this town. Considering it's Spain, not Egypt. But Oh, hey, Nimona. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gym just get this far, you know. But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew that there was a reason you caught my eye. Thanks. Oh, please. I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on. You know the drill by now. Yeah, let's go. Rival fight number four with her. Berserker should be able to carry this fight through till... Da, 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 Here's our battle court for today. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling in. The battlefield can, ha the, the battlefield can have these teeny effects on your Pokemon's balance and stuff, you know? Anyway, sorry I sort of dragged you up here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now come on, Tetsu. Let's have a fruitful battle. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Sent out, Lycan Rock, Midday. Let's go, Berserker. Show me the battle skills that got you six badges. I'm gonna try and set up for a good sweep. So, Hone Claws. Yeah, that speed drop from Berserker's nature is kind of ruining this a little bit, but... So that's plus two. Let the slaughter commence. Now, now I'm back at... plus one. Now I'm back at zero. But Earthquake, because I'm supposed to attack. Let the sweep commence! That stung, but you're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. Because Moxie Punk! Sligoo, I wish I'd fight you Dragon Claw now, but. My man should be fine. So I'm at plus four now. Keep going. Here he 
gets a plus five. No, it just gets a three. But, earthquake. I still think Palm Moss is terrible of it. It's not unique in the slightest. And Tyrant and Berserker have reached level 51. And no, I don't want to have Berserker learn Crash. And I'm not gonna get this. I'm not gonna risk Berserker on the sweep because Meow because of Meowskarade's stupid ability. Trading attacks on the brink of winning or losing gives me chills. I have six Pokemon left. I just swapped out Berserker because I don't want to risk it to your to your Pokemon. Stupid. Here comes the fun part. Time to make this Terra Orb shine. Yes, but you're a Grass Terra type. Your type doesn't change. Your Grass Terra type, Torch Song, and your level 42. Torch Song is going to annihilate you. Get ready, this move is going to hit you with the full force of all my training. Yeah, guaranteed critical hit. Same pet with same pet attack on it. So, Lord Song. Pokemon Trainer Nimona and Berserker and Tyrant are... I knew I was right to believe in you. Berserker and Tyrant are now too high level for me to command properly. Which is awkward. That's an L for me, man. You've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokemon should all be set now. You should be all set now. Here, take these as thanks for the battle. Three max potions? There's just two gyms remaining. Then, then that'll be. Then all that'll be left is for you to try out to be a champion. Give it all you've got. Now let's get you back to the gym lobby. Welcome to the Alfernado Gym. Let me just use the challenge. Your name is Tetsu. Yes. Great, now in order to face Gym Leader Tulip, you'll need to first pass the gym test. Here at, at the Al Fernando gym, Al Fernando gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice created by Tulip herself, of course. Complete it and you pass the test. The one wearing the black track suit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left, after leaving the gym and you'll find the practice area right next door. Now get out, go out, get out there and have fun. This is my team. The only problem is Berserker's not. Dang, so much for the sweep I had planned. Because Berserker is now level 51 and so is Tyrant, they won't obey me anymore. Meaning, I will have to bring Zoro and Zoro and Blade out of the box. I'd rather not have two two not slackings on my team, so. That's awkward. So, right next door is... Huh. Yeah, I don't have any psychic types. They're brought up for some exercise. Oh! Welcome, new kid. 
This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Why? Why is your battle studies teacher here? I haven't met her, actually, so this is my first time meeting her. Here at a Pokemon gym, working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader two, here, Tulip, since we were kids. I just don't like the fact that a lot of people's hair glitches through their hands. Or other models. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled, and, well... She lost. Look, never mind what happened. The point is, this is my a chance to both get a workout in and help my friend when I don't have class classes. And the rules of the emotional spectrum practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement. All you have to do is Oh great, it's Dance Dance Revolution. Ready to get this gym test started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Sure. Great, let's get to exercising. Show me an eruption of emotions. Take on emotional spectrum practice. Finished. Now hopefully I can go slaughter the gym leader real quick. That was awesome. I can't stop grinning after winning such perfect pop. power of expression. That's enough of a warm up. Now let's really put those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. You gotta keep moving. This is no ordinary battle. This is a workout. So it's a gauntlet. Sent out. Not a psychic dark type. So prepare to get shadow ball, dummy. Psychic, not worth the switch out, Shadow Ball. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Emily. I'm moved by how well you moved both you and your Pokemon. Yeah, give me money. Gauntlet, let's go. Great, I can hear you and your Pokemon. You, your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. I see you're getting tired, but you got gotta hang in there. Time to start the second half. Yeah, it's a freaking battle gauntlet. Oh, this is annoying.
be a very long battle gauntlet. I already know it. So I have to do this multiple times, and then I have to do a battle gauntlet every time I do this stupid thing. Why can't it be one of the other gym challenges? Those were interesting. This is just annoying and tedious. Just let me murder the gym leader already so I can get to level so I can get to level 55. Ugh. So yeah, no, I have to battle four trainers in a row. Oh, this is suck. Considering my team is more than likely going to get above the level cap now. Not good. In deep, so normal psychic type. Let's throw out Blade, I guess. But it really comes down to it. I have a bunch of other Pokemon I can use that, aren't, that won't end up being like slacking and a slacking. But let's go, Blade. Because the normal psychic type, meaning X Scissor, will just chop you down to size real quick. I'll keep Blade in. He'll be fine. It's a Medi Jam. Wing attack. And my starter has reached. Nothing goes faster than a growing kid like you. If I have to fight, if I have to do this stupid exercise again, good job, you made it all the way through the ESP exercise. You passed the test, no doubt about it, congratulations. But you're not done yet, sprint over to the lobby, staff are on the double. You have to report your passing grade to the formally, to formally finish the gym test. Yay, now I can go slaughter the gym leader with my less than optimal team. All right, yeah, I got to temporarily bench Skeledurge and Gastrodon. Meaning Ostra is come, being, going to come out to play and So is King. Oh, no, wait, no. Better idea. I know I have... Fur would be interesting, but... Eh. Fafnir would be interesting, too. I know I have another Gooden in here. Ah, I have Grim Snarl. Or I could go with anyone else. Uh, you're not going to be helpful. You're not going to be helpful. Second thought, you might be helpful, but I don't want to have an entire team of male Pokemon. No. Uh. Sorry this is taking a bit. You know what? I have Capone. What am I doing? But the reason I didn't stack my team up with dark types is because she more than likely has a few fairy types to back her team up. So I'm going to be going with Titania the Zuelios, Lead the Magnezone. Zoro the Zoroark. Capone the, the Mavostif. Osura the Prime. Osura and Blade. Let the battle begin.
I see you completed the ESP exercise, Tetsu. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Tulip, the bewitching beautician? Yes. I'm well past ready. Challenge dumb, to challenge the dum dum. I suppose you're right. Okay, I'll I'll get things moving here on my end. Let's keep the tag line simple, naturally beautiful. And order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra had nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. Heh, <laughs> I must say, you are a cute challenger. I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the, all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? Your challenge was annoying and stupid. Yet yeah, you keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well? I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equally important for both people and Pokemon. Yeah. Ma makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. You are challenged by Gym Leader Tulip. Sent out for Rapper Rig. Go Titania! Titania. You're quite good to, to test my makeup magic on. What shall I use on you? Yeah, no. Titania is just gonna crunch the crap out of you. Switch. Let's go, Blade. I got my Pokemon, a lot of my Pokemon, too high a level, which was my big mistake here. Next scissor. We well, should be able to tank this, no problem. X scissor. S part. Oh yeah, it's the weird bird. Let's go with Capone. Jaw lock. Yeah, you have Shadow Ball. Your opponent will be able to tank it fine considering how thick the boss diff is. Forges, and since you're more than likely going to be staying in, let's. Keep going with my boss, Diff. Which is hard to get rid of this caked on mascara. I say I need a good makeup remover. And you're immediately going to Terra, terra Evolve. So I'm. Come here, my little forge. It's time for a makeover. You'll be, become a new you. I, when I first saw this Pokemon back in Gen 6, I assumed it was Grass Fairy type. I now know that it's pure Fairy type, but you could, you could understand my confusion. 
Yes, yes, you're a pure psychic, meaning it's going to be even easier for the phone to just kill you outright. Moon Blast. Oh. She lit. She. Well, there goes Capone. Oh, wait, I can't use Ostro because he's level 51. Shadow Punch. And he's above the badge cap. Your know, strength is a magic to it that cannot be washed away. Yeah, give me the badge. I lost. I lost the battle, and your bru bru beauty rivals even my own. I can't believe it. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big breaks elsewhere. But I suppose I need to work on myself a little more first before I run off and do such a thing. You have earned my badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Tetsu. Dumb, weird yoga poses. With seven gym badges, Pokemon of up to level 55 will be easier to catch and will listen to the commands you give them. If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. You obtain TM120, Psychic. You put TM120 in your bag's TM pocket. Don't go uploading that selfie we just took to social media, okay? I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. I need to fix it fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. That's what she said. Farewell, then. You did splendidly today. Yay, I have my seventh gym badge. I wish Capone did a bit better, but... Eh. Oh. Hey, hey! Rika here, at your service. Th these gyms really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? Rika, Rika! Huh? Alright, you two haven't met, have you? This young man is Tetsu. He's helped with Pokemon, even the... Blup... Primera's taken an interest in him. Oh, oh wow, oh wow. But, but I think Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong too. Like, really strong. Which one of you is stronger, do you think? Well, um... I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm one of, so I'm... It's a child. It's a literal child. How can a literal child be one of the... <laughs> now aren't you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, mister. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where it's the it's where the um, pinnacle. It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. It's a kid. One who barely looks to, who looks barely four. Hey, wait up. Well, keep up the good work. You heard the kid. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. My major complaint so far for this is 
the Elite, so far, to my knowledge, holds a teacher, which is understandable. He literally helps guide and mentor younger trainers. Rika, well, I have no idea what she does for a living. And a literal child. Who's more than likely a child prodigy, but... That's gonna bother me for a while. Yeah, it's, it's a child prodigy, but again... Poppy's more than likely a prodigy when it comes to battle, but making her just kind of this icon for young trainers, for young kid trainers, would be fine enough, but making her a member of the Elite Four, considering the geopolitical issues, considering the Elite Four, other than the champion of a region, are kind of the face of said region. Not to rub it in anyone's fit, but having a literal full and kind of help run the government for the regions of in Pokemon games. So having a literal child who barely who looks to be barely four as one of the elite four really is not a good idea. And I'm kind of venting, right? And I'm kind of... And I'm kind of... I don't know. I don't know. It's just... It's just weird. It's not a good thought, okay? Having a literal four-year-old. And I'm, I'm... I'm venting. And I'm ranting. I shouldn't be doing this. Anyway, next time on Pokemon Scarlet... Well, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do next, considering we only have four thing four things left to do on the path. We ha we can go finish Arvin's story. We can go finish more. Of, we can do do more Starfall Street, or we could take on the last gym leader. Hmm. But there's only four things left to do in this region before we take on the Elite Four and do more story stuff, I assume. But I will see you all next time. Peace.